Someone lives among the dead. Now, ain't this a surprise?
still here. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Oh, you're a hologram, a lot of junk. Let's stop in at the up. Come on in. The silk... But Ian has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Well, what news? Is Elaine... Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this as payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you.
But when is Kay coming home? He's off fighting, Adara, with the Stormcloaks. He'll return when the war Thank is you over. again for resolving my... Our son problems. joining the Stormcloaks. You're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand, if Cicero is turning the others against me, against us. Our family would not survive such division. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. No objections, then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Go. Quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. Tell me, sister. Not a story. alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do, hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble son. But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how 
can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones, I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I tried. So very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery! More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. Signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is, but Valenrude, that I have heard of, and I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. 
Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. friend. I salute. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the night mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. Calm now. What everyone else is saying... Is death not come to us all? True. Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be job. Doom's herald. It was a suicide mission, Astrid said as much. Yet here you stand, hale and hearty. Mother well, I have. <laughs> are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. Targets make a mistake of not perceiving me as a threat. Left. Mistake they ever made. So, is it true? Oh, you mean in that manor house during the thunderstorm? Eh, what can I say? It happened. Just like you heard. Please, 
Not now. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. I trust you're not planning any work. trouble. Get an and I do for you. The old you, shop. you need to leave now.
ourselves. No more. I yield. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You and I should spend some time together. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. What's the matter, friend? Khajiit got your tongue? Maybe you need a little ditty to loosen your gob, huh? There once was a stranger with eyes full of danger. He spoke not a word, but his meaning was heard. Sing on, sweet Lorbuck. Sing on. I'm thinking of composing a song. You should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. Fresh fish! Fresh fish!
Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Please, don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my... Your Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Yar Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. But rest easy. You're dismissed. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Take a look. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people who need to What's the Yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. You need something? If you've business with the... Arl, I'd ask that you speak to me first. My mind weighs heavy enough. Leave me to my food. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? Oh, Gorm. Are you drink? Not right now. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing! <laughs> what about you? Care to join me? Did you need something? Need something? I do what I can to see that it breaks time. Too many bother my wife with their pet. to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but, well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? 
sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of, else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. Brother?